If you're young, if you're middle income, you might eventually make money from your art investments, maybe. But the one essential ingredient, everyone says, is that you love it. I spoke with Stephanie Kenyon. She's the owner of a well-known auction house right here in Washington, D.C., about what's happening in the art world right now when it comes to average buyers. Stephanie, when is art, in your estimation, uh, a good investment? Well, art can be a good investment. It's tricky and it's speculative, but it's a good investment usually when the artist has proven him or herself over several decades. Okay. And one of the ways you can track an artist's progress is if the art comes up on what's the secondary market, and that means not from the studio or from a gallery, but at auction. Art also has trends, and so when you're making an investment in art, in 2018, let's say, in 2038, it might look very different. How do you predict it? Yes, it's tricky to predict. For example, prior to the recession, 2008, much traditional art was in vogue. At the time of the recession, buyers suddenly stopped buying, and yet when they began to buy again, it was all modern contemporary, all post-World War II. Really? And that echoes the trends in furnishings and fashions where the 50s and 60s are very much the look of today. And several things came about that produced that interest. Uh -huh. uh, one, the millennials had never seen the kind of furnishings they saw on Mad Men. Gosh, yeah. And that television show enthralled the younger generation. Mm -hmm. And so they began seeking out that look. But overall, and in our business there's a saying, it's been around for a long time, buy with your eyes, not with your ears. Many people will buy something because they've heard that that artist is going up. Okay. And then it doesn't happen, but if you buy something you really like and you become educated about the artist's work, chances are later on someone else will like it too. You do need to do your homework. That means develop, develop an eye which comes from looking, going to galleries, talking to art consultants, and doing research, reading art magazines. Mm -hmm. There's also an excellent art site called Ask Art, okay. which will track with graphs the progress of the prices and the popularity of any one particular artist who's ever been listed and come up to auction. Today, I can find an artist on Instagram, you know? Uh, I can find their store on Etsy. Um, which I wonder if that diminishes the value out there or if it gives us entree into this world that before was completely unattainable. I think it cuts both ways. It certainly makes art more accessible to more people. But at the same time, it also, it can overexpose something. You buy quality, it'll uh -huh. never be a clunker. I call it enjoyment equity.